Yo guys, so today's video, I'm going to answer the question, how do you know if you have a high ego or not? So there are two types of people, those who have a high ego and those who do not have a high ego. So I want to make it clear today. Basically, any competitor, anyone who isn't a casual Smash player, when they lose, they're going to feel some sort of emotion, right? If you're competitive, you want to win, okay? So you're going to, you know how Ninja is like, you know, if you lose and you're not angry, you lose twice. Okay, like kind of, right? If you're not salty or if you don't care, then like you're complacent, right? So if you're not someone who's complacent and you're trying to improve and you're competitive, you'll probably join, okay? And everyone joins everyone johns everyone will say like oh i lost because they got lucky or i lost because i'm tilted or i lost because of x y or z right or like, i'm playing bad today right any excuse those are all johns those are all excuses right now the other that's okay that's everyone that's everyone but like i said there's two types of people those with a high ego and those without an ego just with it with or without an ego forget the high and low just with or without an ego now if you have an ego you will believe those excuses you believe the johns and then you don't try to learn now if you don't have an ego you say the johns but deep down you try to learn because let's say even if you did believe them let's say they you do believe they got lucky you're not satisfied losing to luck because you want to be so good that they could get all their lucky hits and you still beat them right so this is also why i think playing wi-fi is so good because offline there are people you go to a tournament you lose you john and then you're like hey to your friends like hey want to just go to a bar <laughs> or like hey i want to go grab dinner then like give me a ride home or like hey let's just play friendlies and then go home right but if you lose on wi-fi you lose at home you like say all these johns but instead of just doing whatever after you're like all right like you're sitting on your couch let me pull up my laptop let me search up a vod right you, there's more like time and there's more opportunities so much easier to learn it's so you could save the replay and watch it even or it's so much easier to remember because you just get that rematch. Maybe you'll get a best of five instead of a quick best of three, right? There's so much more opportunity to not just let those excuses, you know, just be excuses and then let you f give yourself an excuse to just forget what happened, right? So that's part of why what makes Wi-Fi so good. But just in general, if you believe in the excuses, you have an ego. If you just think, Oh, they actually got lucky and then you you're just like no they just got lucky and then you don't need to change anything then you're screwed then you've already lost but if you say they're lucky and you actually try to improve that's what matters so i don't care what johns you say and everyone says no johns and i always say don't john i actually don't care what you say all i care is what you believe and i actually don't care this is for your benefit so if you believe your johns you have an ego if you say johns and understand that there's something you could do, then you don't have an ego. So I hope I made that abundantly clear. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that DK thumbs up and spank that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.